34 survivors. 60 head-to-head -head games of endurance and skill. This is Slate's World Cup of Dead by Daylight survivors. A lot of enablers in Ace's loadout, but not many that can win you the game. But before that, we have Vittorio. Let's see what he can do here on Badum. That's an immediate gen. It'll be three on a gen. If there's no pressure on this gen, this could be an early opportunity for Vittorio to store some potential energy. It's interesting. Are you going to make that call? That's Fogwise. Gives you the aura. You see him moving in? I don't think you do. I think it's all hands on deck for the gen. Right here, right now. Yeah, because there's a terror radius. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Oh, no commitment elsewhere. Both Kates fled the scene immediately. That's tough. The Vittorio and the Vittorio camp there before that he took an injury for nothing. That should have been commitment to the gen. That's tough. That is very tough. Tori going to have to find a different gen to work on here. Maybe heading to the back of the school. Some progress here. You're happy to see that at least. This should be, barring something catastrophic, completion here. Jonah coming in for the heal. Hey, on the hook. Ah, oh, just it was a it was a commit. It was you've never seen more of a commit situation there. Vittori even bore the brunt of the hit and not rewarded for his efforts in the slightest. And that's been a lot of regression over on that gen. Still regressing even now. Now you need to be very careful as you wade through the grass here. Can be difficult to spot the traps. Oh, God. And look at this. It was a 99 gen. It is now 40. There goes Kate. There is a trapper. Another hit for Vittorio. This is just such a rough, rough situation we're looking at now. There is a trapper. Take the run around here. They're, they're going down. Coming back. There is a pallet over here. You gotta burn it. Praying for no trap at the bottom here. There will not be. They vault through as well. Oh, uh, you didn't want to move to the right because that's close to where the gem was being repaired. Can you get to car loop? It's gonna be close. I don't think you'll quite make it. It'll be very close. It'll be very, very close. You will make it. You will make it. Okay. They set a trap. You flee. Oh, they faked out the trap. Great play from the trapper. But you've got some fair distance here. They're going to go around that way. Can you fake this out by moving this way? Does this get you back to car loop? This will be close again. A second very, very close call. They're not going to burn the pallet. And here we go. They're faking it out again. They're not on that occasion. So Vittorio flees the scene. Probably gets to fence loop with relative ease. Praying for no trap here. There isn't. And trap has gone. Wow. The great escape from Vittorio is successful. What a play. Does finally get that gem we've been trying to move for so, so long. And Vittorio going to head over to this gem right here. Ooh. Wow. Well, that might have. Things were maybe looking a bit rough there. Trapper getting some good gen control on the verge of another quick hook. I think Vittorio has turned this game around to a certain degree. But Jonah, headlong into a trap. Down he goes. One thing we do like, and we see the aura there, just to confirm it. Trapper all the way on the other side of the map. There's an opportunity here to stick on this gen, make it a two gen game. In fact, another gen being repaired over there. Plus Kindred, so we're just swamped with aura reading potential here. Talking of potential, do you use potential energy? I don't think so. I think every gen is a gift. You want to get the utmost out of your progress, of course. Storing potential energy only gets you 75% repair speed. I think you need every every bit of your repair speed here. Thank you, Jorne. Hello, Vex. Thank you. I appreciate that a great deal. It means a lot. All in for the gen. All in for the gen. Don't even think about healing me. 
Don't even look at my wounds. My wounds are not your concern. The gen is your concern. And I'm glad we made that call because there is a trapper. They'll surely head over here after hitting through endurance there. There's a gen. Do they move over here? They don't. They're sticking on Jonah. Okay. What a good game this is turning into. And I think Vittorio can feel, uh, you know, uh, very responsible for the great game state. Good heal up from Kate. Very nicely done. So there will be a gen in the building. Is Kate going to go for it? Looks like it. Leave them to it. Always worthwhile to be pushing more than one gen along in a one gen situation. Especially if, you know, that's a one person gen in the building. So nothing we can do to help with that one. Don't idly wander into a trap. A lot of your good work will be undone if you were to commit an unforced error such as that. Jonah down. Again, quite distant. Is there an opportunity to maybe move another gen along? None in Killer Shack. Not one at all along these along this line. So there must be well, there will be one downstairs in the basement. That is, I believe, a guaranteed spawn. Question is, has it already been completed? The answer is no. So. Here we go. Some really nice aura reading you get from Fogwise. Are you not going for the save? Well, we can see... You can see that they're really setting up around basement. I... It's awful. For the Jonah. Oh god, Kate's going to try and go for it. It's awful for the Jonah. I think your play has to be... Uh, as Kate enters the trap there. I think your play has to be get the gens done. Move through this game. Things can so easily snowball against Trapper. It's gutting for them. I, I understand their pain. I think it is the right call. Machiavellian though it may be. There'll be the gen. They're really slow getting down there. And that'll be a wiggle. Can Kate avoid the traps as she heads up? No! <laughs> no, she can't. Are myself and Kate on the same page here? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's not... It's not a safe situation. Just... You've got to leave here. With our tails between our legs, we will say goodbye. <laughs> what a performance from Vittorio. Exactly what he needed to do. And that means, even without having stepped on the field of battle, Ace is... Eliminated. Because all Ace can do is get the six score. That will mean that Vittorio and Ace both get a point. Vittorio on three, Ace on two. Both Nia and Vittorio will end up above Ace. So Ace is eliminated with that. Vittorio has shut the door firmly in the face of Ace. And that's a, a really, really tough for Ace now. I mean, how do you how do you G yourself up to put together a good performance when you have no chance? of progressing past the group stages, but that is the situation. And we are on the verge of a game. Oh my God, it's happened four and a half hours into the stream. Do you know what? Time has completely flown past me here. I had no idea we'd be going for this long. Been a fun stream. Some rough games near the beginning, but uh, they got much more fun towards the back end here. And now every game is so relevant here. Even this, Ace cannot qualify himself, but can, again, play spoiler to Vittorio's efforts. If he can get all five gens and escape, he will tie, and the path becomes that much narrower for Vittorio. Big tear radius. It passes. And there's your chase. It's Ghosty chasing the Vittorio over there, aptly enough. See what Vittorio can do here. Can he buy enough time for Ace to get this gem? Looks like Vittorio got around in time to get the pallet burn. 
And Ghosty gonna pivot into the building. To keep on heading upstairs. Oh, he's moving around that side, okay. Try and reveal. Oh, must have 99 this already. That's tough. That's a that's a bitter peel for Ace to swallow here. Needs to get a pallet stun here. It's a very unsafe loop. There's a pallet stun! That's exactly what we needed. What a play from Ace to keep hope alive. Getting back around to another pallet. Gonna pivot all the way around, get the window. Move around this way, coming back. They're gonna vault over. Do you get around to the pallet again? Gonna try for it. Well played for the ghosty. Fake it out. What a play though! Kept his call, did Ace! Kept his call, stayed on that side of the pallet. Ghosty! Completely at a loss as to where he's gone. There is Ghosty. Moving around, coming back. Can I get the vault? That might be it for Ace. That might be it. Fake out the window. Move it on. Oh, didn't quite do enough to elicit the whiff. Not a bad run around, though. Not a bad run around at all. Just a shame. Must have been getting some big early stalking going on there. Completely unbeknownst to the ace. Good stuff from Ghosty. A gen does pop. It isn't that crucial middle gen. That would be a great one to get. The ski lodge gem, which is the key to a good endgame for survivors. If you can pop that. That's one droopy tree it is, isn't it? Just play the Ghost of Devour. He carried me over to the Totem to Mori me. Considerable flex. Wow. Is everyone quite all right? As he unhook. There's Ghosty over there. Okay. Just spotted him. Between the tree and the wall there. That is not what you needed. There's a reveal. They're going to kick the pallet. Ace going to flee. Oh, but it looks like a, a tunnel, doesn't it? Oh, they go after Yui. A change of heart. They go after Yui. Do they keep after Yui? No, they do not. They still want this dying state. But Ace has another loop here. It's a good one as well. Burn that. Run around immediately. You've not got the most out of that pallet. You'd have liked a little bit more from it. Have you said that? No, they are still there. Ace dared to dream, dared to hope that he had lost the ghost face permanently, had not done so. Well, you need you need this to be a pallet. You're very fortunate that it is. Swing through, not camping the pallet, so I won't fall victim to that. Good move. Try the cheeky spin. Oh, can he get onto the pallet here? Not quite. Not quite. Oh, Yui sensed that maybe there was an opportunity there. Ghosty changed his course at the last second. Difficult for Ace here. On two hooks. Before his time. Yuri? Skirting around by the ski lodge. There goes Killer Shack Jen. It's not a bad game state overall. Ace is just very unlucky to be the person on two hooks. And no one... Coming in for the save. You've got Vittorio on the right. Can he get her in time? Yes, he will be able to. You say? Oh, but he's going to get chased as well. Someone has to move in. I think Ace is going to be killed by indecision here. Ghosty wants this. Wants this kill very plainly. He needs someone. There we go. Whiff on Claudette. Vittorio comes in. Re uh, reassurance on the hook. Right, you've got this much BT. And they're going to go in on this. So you need this pallet. You need this pallet. You're going to get to the pallet. There's Claudette. Hits Claudette. You, you're going to pivot around. Just not entirely sure of what to do or how to how to play this. Great pallet stun from Claudette. A dying state for her. Are they going to pick up? Yes, they are. Okay, so Ace kept in the game. As Vittorio. Desperately need a heal. Desperately, desperately, desperately need a heal. Well, you've got to hope that they don't have barbecue and chili here. Don't head right over here. Oh, and they are going to. We are in danger. Once again. But they don't see us. They don't see us. This is absolutely time to put yourself first and rummage around for chests. In a lot of danger is Ace right here.
Basement is down here. You're praying. Oh, there's another chest up here. So you'll get two opportunities to search for a med kit. It will be a rare item because of... Um, I think it's Ace and Hole. Oh, it'll be a rare, a rare flashlight. I mean, great, but not what you need right now. Another opportunity. Need a med kit. Would love a med kit. You're praying for the barbecue and chili. Barbecue and chili would kill you. Oh, how unbelievably clutch with the healing speed add-on as well. Now, even if Ghosty does see us and does head over here, hopefully Ace will be able to heal up in time. That was so clutch. So unbelievably clutch there. Says a full heal. Ace, still in the game. Still with a hope. Oh, Christ. Do you want to heal? They presumably have got the purple beamer from the chest there. Tori, I think. Uh, certainly screaming. Maybe taking a chase. Good stuff. Good heal. Yeah, they got that. Oh, no, they didn't get the flashlight. Do you know what? Why not? It could have value later. You're not going to get anything else from your med kit. Well, Deb running in, hopefully for the unhook. Vittoria taking the chase. Ace going to just get on this gen. I don't know what. There's, there's two gens you still need. Ace was, for a time, laboring under the delusion. It was a one gen game. It isn't. There's at least some progress on this gen. But you have to imagine this will be where Ghosty is going to approach next. Gotta get away. You need these gens moving. The, the, the game is stagnant. And they presumably sense an opportunity for a kill here. You need to reveal them. Not quite able to. They're around that area somewhere. You need to play it safe. You need to avoid um, that death that death hook. But you also need the gens to be moving. And there's like a minimum of gen progress as it stands. Maybe Ace is best positioned to move in for the unhook here. Having said that, a huge terror radius. Okay, there is the unhook. Let's go, Steve. Come on. The reveal. There is the reveal. Beautiful. So we'll just deny the expose there. And if they want us, they'll have to take a loop away from the gems. And then move back over there. If we could pop this, I feel like the game would open up. But it's that oh so similar game state we've all seen a thousand times. We're committing to one gen that would leave us with the favorable end game there. Keeping that one gen under pressure as much as possible. So we stop that regressing, move it along a little bit. Run over this way and they are going to commit to this, okay. Ooh, picking out the kick. Moving back. They okay, will kick that time. We'll keep on moving. And they're running back to the gems. Yeah, they're not not giving any ounce of gem progress away. They're going after Yui. Now, do they double down on this chase? Oh, Dragon's Grip! Do they know? They're not really paying attention. They're sticking on Yui. If Yui can keep this going... Goes down, but that might be enough. Yeah, they pick up. So we're going to get this gem. There is still hope for a tie. There is not an unbitten nail left in the Vittorio cab. They are so nervous. We were saying it earlier. It really is win or nothing. A draw will not do it for them. But the draw might be that which they're staring down the barrel of right here. It's getting far enough away. Dragon's grip is exposed. Oh, and that's double exposed. They get the mark as well. Uh, it might be all over. It's going to be a fake out. You have to pray that you're going to fake them out on this one. And you don't. Do you fake them out on this one? No. It's all over. A, 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 a brilliant effort from Ace. Kept it competitive to the very end after going on two hooks really early. But the, the pressure insurmountable in the end and that will be him out of there cheers in the Vittorio camp that means Vittorio is in a very very strong spot indeed gets the win 
with 18 gens total. Ace, another loss, not been the tournament he wanted. And he is, uh, well, he was he was out anyway. So let's quickly reformat the group. Here, so we get a better sense of the lay of the land and how things currently are. Vittorio, with that win, and with the full 18 gens, I think is guaranteed. Guaranteed a playoff spot here. All that could happen, Nia gets the win, goes to top spot. That will still leave Vittorio in second place and very, very strong indeed. Uh, Jill could get the win, and that would mean that Nia would be eliminated. Um, and Jill would be joint top spot, depending on gens. Very interesting, this. A win for Jill on 18 gen, if she got the full six. That would be 18 gens apiece for Jill and Vittorio, same number of points. But Jill would win out there on the superior seeding. But again, Vittorio, that would be an incredibly strong second place. So, that leads us to a very important matchup here 